Still waiting for the lunch bell to eat at school? Well, why do that when you can bring all the treats you want to class? What's up, Daisy? Hi. Hi. What could she be eating now? I don't see anything edible. Weird. But I'm just so hungry. Psst, Jess, what are you chewing on? Quiet! Well, Teach is in a terrible mood. Watch out or he'll start docking points. Best to get started on the test before he gets really mad. Anyway, while you're doing that, you can still snack. Right, Jess? Um? What? That's right! Edible jewelry is making a comeback. Anyone can make a candy necklace, it's super easy. Take your favorite bead-shaped candy, such as Skittles, and thread them onto string using a needle. Once you've made a nice long rope, join the two ends together by pushing the needle through the first piece once more. Edible bracelets are just as quickly made too, with the help of a gummy strip or two. Use a hole punch to make neat slots in both ends and then tie them together with some super cute and fashionable ribbon. Made to order accessories. All right then, time to share with your friend, Jess. Well, you caught me. Fine, take a bite of your bracelet. Oh, I see. Isn't it just the best when your jewelry is not only beautiful, but delicious, too? Ted's arrived earlier than everyone else, per the usual, and is decorating the classroom. Hey. Sup, Ted? Hello, hey. hello. Could offer to help me, you know. Man, it's nice that I'm not the one stuck hanging that stuff. That means I can relax and enjoy chewing some gum. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure there's some strawberry-flavored gum under all that. Turns out to be a pretty good clip holder, too. Man, that container is constantly popping open in my backpack. Gotta do something about that. Ted, give me that tape, would you? This, um, yeah, sure. Thank you kindly. If your gum roll has a tendency to attract all the loose items in your backpack too, simply swap your scotch tape out for something sweeter. You can easily wrap the remainder of your gum into the plastic holder and close it in place. And it also makes dispensing little bits a breeze. Plus, it blends in with your other school supplies. Now that is a thousand times better. Hey, Ted, want a little tasty tape? What the what? Mm. Oh, pretty good idea. Watch me blow a huge bubble. I want this painting to be picture perfect. That means I need all the right colors. Blue's great, but I'm missing. Of course, a little bit of red. Here we go. Jess, did you even ask Daisy if she minds sharing? Oh No, wait! What's wrong with this paint? Thing is, that isn't paint at all but sauce for Daisy's fries. Our clever girl has a stash of them and an empty pack of wet wipes. Friendly tip, make sure there isn't any liquid left before tossing in snacks. Once all of the fries have been loaded in, Daisy snaps close the plastic lid, and no one will be the wiser. But how can you have fries without ketchup? That's right, you can't. But worry not, an empty paint container is the perfect place to hide it in plain sight. Thank goodness it's such a rich color and flavor. Good thing I went searching for red paint. Now I've lucked into a salty snack. Isn't this the best? Um. 
This trick can be repeated for all kinds of sauces, too. Like a bright yellow cheesy one. Or throw pretzels in the wipes pack and Nutella in the jar. Where's my little candy? My favorite? Oh, oh no! Ted, has anyone ever told you that you're more than a bit clumsy? Hey man, here, have a piece of my gum. This is a jump drive. Ted, you're missing the point once again. Mary simply attached a USB port to a pack of gum. And as always, double-sided tape came in mighty handy. The perfect disguise. Teach will never spot and steal my gum. But I'm happy to share with a friend. Wow. I'd have never thought of this. Pays to sit by you, Mary. Phew. After gym class, the girls are wiped out. The only thing that can bring them back to life is some cold water. Thankfully, they both got some in their lockers. Man, am I thirsty. Hey, what is this, snow? Just give me a swig of yours. Um, I'm nice, but not that nice. What's wrong with your own cup? Don't you realize what you've got there? It's super tasty. Take a look. Uh -huh. An ordinary tumbler can be the perfect hiding place for cotton candy. It's best to first cover the outside of the cup with a picture of water and then stuff it full of the fluffy stuff. The only thing to keep in mind is to not smush the cotton candy down too much or it will lose its cloud-like texture. Looking like this, you can take that sugary goodness into glass, no sweat. Now I get it! Awesome! Still want some water? else have a feeling that Jess only shared her drink in order to get points and be able to mooch Emma's cotton candy? Clever girl. Shall we crack this open then? Nicely done, ladies. Even the most hawk-eyed teacher won't notice what you're doing. Just try not to look so happy, okay? I wonder what these two are thinking about so hard. The math problems they're solving? Or maybe food? Okay, I think I got all the answers right. Now I just need to go over it all in pen and erase the pencil. Ugh, stupid broken eraser. Oh no, it's completely gone already. Well, I'm sure Susie won't mind sharing. Unfortunately, it looks like Susie's is a dud too. Or maybe it's all user error? Now what can I do? Perhaps you should just follow Susie's example and have a snack. Don't freak out, that's not an eraser after all, but a marshmallow. A girl simply got sneaky and swapped out a boring school supply for something better. There's nothing difficult about it either. Just cut a marshmallow down to the appropriate size and place it in the wrapper. Pretty darn sneaky, huh? doing, Susie? I think that girl has lost her mind. Am I seeing things or did Susie just eat something out of her hair? Are those little beads really made to be ingested? Ew, that ain't right. Ugh, just look at this. An ordinary pen and an ordinary spring. You see? Exactly! I've got several of these in my hair today! A wonderful ballpoint pen can make for the beginnings of a wonderful edible hairpin. Start by disassembling the thing. We only need the spring. Once you've found that tool, pick your poison to go with it. Any little cute candies will do. Those will then be attached to the ends of the springs. To each half, that is. Obviously, we won't be using any old Elmer's but confectioner's glue to stick them on. It takes a bit of 
time and effort to pull this all together, but it's totally worth it. Feel free to tell me I'm a genius. I await your applause. How do you bring snacks to class? Share your ideas with us, and don't forget to become one of our subscribers, too. <laughs>